VP in the Obama years, they imposed about $700 billion in new regulations where this president has stripped them. He came into office promising for every one new federal regulation that went into place, he'd eliminate two. Well, he's done more than that. For every one that's introduced, he's eliminated seven, which will lead to, you know, higher household earnings of about $3,100 per year. So that is an incredible achievement from the president of the United States. And then you look at the other side, Joe Biden wants to raise your taxes. He's going to start regulating you more, which will stifle our economy. <laughs> Clay, let's let's talk about the differences between these two plans because it is there's there's it's massive, right? It was a year and a half ago, if we were all sitting here, we'd all be laughing about the Green New Deal, but it's actually now this the the Biden Sanders plan on the on the both the economy and the environment. Give us a breakdown of what some of the things are that are in the Biden proposal. Well, in the Biden proposal, he's actually calling for uh, homes with zero carbon emissions. So just to picture that, we'd be living in homes without windows. Think about that, <laughs> living in homes without windows. Uh, it, it just would be a, think about the design of, sir, your home will be made of concrete and will feature a nice view of concrete. I mean, get out of here. It's just jackassery. Joe Biden is a communist. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you know, we're actually reducing our emissions better than the Europeans are. He wants to put us back into the Paris Climate Accord. Kelly, what is that going to do in terms of our economy, in terms of jobs, in terms of our energy production? Well, not, not only does he want to put us back into the climate, uh, the Paris Climate Accord, he wants the stringence, he wants more regulations um, within that accord. We know that, you know, eliminating, banning all fossil fuels would have a devastating effect on our economy, which would lead to, you know, 10 million jobs lost. We are trying to recover post-corona. Um, our economy has been devastated these last few months because of the shutdown. We need a leader who can, who can reignite, you know, econ our economic growth and coming into office and promising to raise your taxes like Joe Biden has, uh, and then to increase all of these regulations like Joe Biden is doing that are impractical, our communists, our socialists are closer to where Bernie Sanders is than, quote unquote, Joe Biden the moderate. It's just not the way to do that. That's not the way uh, we need to get these small businesses back reopened. People need their jobs. They need to be able to keep their jobs. And no one in America wants to pay more in taxes. Uh, Clay, Kelly brought up a good point because when Joe Biden was campaigning months ago, he was more moderate, obviously talking about the environment, but he has gone so far uh, to the left as from what Bernie Sanders wants. I mean, these talk to us about some of the other things that are in his, his plan, besides the yeah, concrete well, wall that we'll be looking at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I have five kids, okay? And under Joe Biden's plan, think about this. On a practical level, you're going to have a home without windows. And then when something happens, you want to call the police, you won't be able to call the police because there will be no police because Joe Biden wants to defund the police. He wants to do all this from his basement, folks. And also, my wife and I, we have five kids. And so whenever a light bulb breaks, right, under Joe Biden and uh, previous to President Trump uh, working with this de deregulation, we would have to look dress up like astronauts to dispose of a broken light bulb. But President <laughs> Trump has brought back the incandescent light bulb. I'm not interested in dressing up like an astronaut to take care of a uh, fluorescent light bulb. I'm not interested in having a house without windows. And I'm not interested in not interested in living in an America where we don't have a police department. Joe Biden is a communist. Well, you know, I think that President Trump in tw cutting 25,000 pages from the Federal Register mm -hmm. has demonstrated, and he talked about protecting the environment this week on several different occasions, that you can, you can grow the economy and protect the environment at the same time.